Algebra 2, section 4, 8 is, um, remember these, the systems of equations. We're going to use now matrices to solve system of equations. Um, this is your last section before your test. Make sure you go ahead and pause, um, write it down after I'm done with the board, and don't forget to do vocabulary. So we're going to start off with an example. Basically, um, in order for you to properly do this, you need the equation for... Um, how to find the inverse. So if we go back to the last section, the inverse is a negative 1 equals 1 over ADBC minus BC, and this is DA negative C negative B. Okay? If you can't see that, um, just go ahead and go into your notes and find the inverse. That's for my little notes. So the, so the first thing to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into a matrix equation. And in order for me to do that, on the equal sign, it goes into its own matrices, so it's pretty simple. On this one, I want to separate the coefficient with, um, the coefficient is the number in front of it with the letters, okay? So this is x and y, so this goes here because each one of these is x, this is x, this is y, this is y, okay? And if I multiply these together, 5x and then 4x, and, and so it gives me this, so if I move backwards. So basically I take the coefficients, 5, 3, 4, 7, and put it into my um, equation right here. Alright, so basically what I want to do is I want to get rid of this so that I just end up with x and y. Um, and just like if we were solving an equation, like uh, 2x, you know, equals 4, I would divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 4 over 2, right? So in order for me to do this, I have to do the opposite. Well, the opposite of this is so happens to be the inverse. So the first step is to take this and find its inverse. So 5, 4, 3, 7, okay? Now, the inverse, this is my a, b, c, d, would be... 1 over AD, sorry, 5 times 7 minus um, BC, 4 times 3. And then I would do D, which is 7, um, negative B, which is negative 3, this is negative 4, and this is 5. Right? So next, what I would do here is it would be 1 over three t 5 times 7, which is 35, minus 12, okay, and 7 minus 3, negative 4, and 5. So, we have 35 minus 12, which gives us 23, so 1 over 23, um, 7, negative 3, negative 4, and 5. And this is our inverse. Because 23 is such an odd number, I'm just going to leave it. In fact, don't multiply it out, and this becomes our inverse. This is the inverse of this. Okay? So that means if I multiply these together, they would cancel out. All right? And I would end up with just x and y. But the rules always apply. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So, once I multiply this to this side, I cancel it out, but I also have to multiply it to this side, all right? So, um, please make sure to pause it and write that down. So, here's our inverse right here, and here's our equation, all right? So, I've multiplied it by this side. What it looks like here is I've done 1 over 23, 7, negative 3, negative 4, 5, times 5, 3, 4, 7, times x, y, equals 1 over 23, 7, negative 3, negative 4, 5, times 13 over 8, right? So I took this, which is the inverse, right? And I, and I multiplied it by both sides. 
Well, because this is the inverse of this, if I multiplied it out, they would cancel out, leaving me with just x, y on this side. Now in this case, I have to then multiply it by this, but here's the thing, this always has to go first. Because, remember how we know um, this is a 2 by 2 and this is a 2, uh, this is a two by 1, okay, uh, row, column, right? Um, if it's not that and it's a 1 by 2, if I put it over here, the middle numbers won't match up, so they can't be multiplied together. So they have to be multiplied in this sense. So now I'm multiplying just these two right here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this right here, the 1 over 23, and I'm going to set it aside and just multiply these two first. Once I multiply this, then I can apply 1 over 23. All right? So let's just focus on 7, negative 3, negative 4, and 5 times 13 over negative 8. Let's start with our key. This is a 2 by 2. And this is a 2 by 1. So my answer is going to be a 2, because this tells me it could be multiplied in the outside, 2 by 1. Okay? So my answer is going to be a 2 by 1. So that means I'm going to have two rows, row 1, row 2, and one column. Okay? So the first one is going to be row 1, column 1. And the next one is row 2, column 1. And that's my key. So let's multiply it out and see what we get. The first one is row 1, column 1. So we end up with 7 times 13 plus negative 3 times negative 8. Okay? Next one is row 2, column 1, which is negative 4 times 13 plus 5 times negative 8. So what do we end up with there? 7 times 13 is 91 plus negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. Okay? Negative 4 times 13 is negative 52. And then um, 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. And finally, we end up with 91 plus 24, which is 50, 115. And then um, negative 52 minus 40 is negative 92. Now, this would be our answer, but don't forget this right here. We still have, I'm going to put it in another color, we still have a 1 over 23. So that means I have to multiply each one, 115 times 1 over 23, and negative 92 times 1 over 23. And then I get my final answer. So let's see. This is 5. And this is negative 4. So my answer is 5, negative 4. Alright, so it's, um, it, it's a long process, but the steps, pretty simple. The first one you put into a matrix equation. The next one is to find the inverse, and then use that inverse to multiply it by this, and you should be able to get your, your x and y, 5, negative 4. So go ahead and try page 220, number 4, page 220, number 4, and I will see you in class.